It is my distinct pleasure to have Rick Locastro, our Collier County uh, Commissioner, District 1, here as a guest on Really Mary. And today we're going to talk about affordable housing. Really, Mary? So I know you have a lot of opinions on this. Rick, tell me, you know, what your thoughts are. Well, I recently had a very successful town hall meeting on Marco Island here yeah. just last week, um, attended mostly by business owners. And here's the short version. Um, affordable housing isn't a Collier County problem. It's a mm-hmm. national problem. So some folks that think, why aren't we doing anything about it here? First of all, we are doing a whole bunch of things, right. but it, it's much more than just Collier County. But here's something I mentioned at my town hall to the citizens and business owners who attended that really caught them by surprise. Yeah. When a developer brings commissioners a project, let's say I don't love it. Um, I think it might not just be cohesive for the for the footprint, the community or whatnot. Mm-hmm. A lot of times sort of the, the new flavor is, well, let, let's throw 20% of the units um, and make 20% of the units affordable. And dangling that carrot sometimes catches some elected officials like, oh, now all of a sudden I love it. Right. Um, I'm not one of those commissioners because here's the hidden fine print. When a developer makes any percentage of the units in their development affordable, and there's a whole you know, uh, uh, details what of what that means. Yeah. Um, they get a bunch of extras that a lot of people don't realize. They get to increase the density, um, the footprint. Mm. They also get some financial incentives yeah. through different um, avenues and whatnot. And that may not always be a great thing. So if you think a 200 unit apartment complex is being built next to your um, uh, your community, um, and you'd love 25% of those to be affordable to help you know right. the working class, right. you might realize that in the end, if everybody votes yes on that, your 200 um, unit complex is now way more than 200. Mm. It actually is taller. It could be a much wa- a bigger footprint. Sure. And also, too, the developer might be getting a lot of incentives that um, are from taxpayers, taxpayer dollar yeah. incentives. And by knowing that fine print, all of a sudden you might not love it. And also, in the end, affordable housing units are needed, but they're not a rubber stamp on every street corner. We no. have to be very strategic and very methodical and very um, uh, um, educated on where we put them, yeah. why we put them there, and then make sure that they stand the test of time. I mean, if a developer tells us they're going to have 25% of the units are going to be affordable at a lesser price and it's going to be in perpetuity, we need to go back um, you know, regularly and make sure they're, they've stuck to that. And in some sure. cases, some developers that had affordable units approved in years past um, have not stuck by that. And we're flushing those folks out. That is so great to hear. You know, affordable housing sounds great on the surface, but is it really? You got to know the details. 